suggest anybody? Uh, no, you can do that. Does anybody want to throw out a, a they pool might have out? Um, Education. Well, I'm looking for a, a, the name of a lobbyist. Um, let's say, um, I mean, I, I could think of many, but I would. Oh, there's one. Yeah. Now, are you looking for an individual or are you looking for his, uh, an individual? The firm. NYSET? Oh, no. NYSET. Well, sure. I mean, NYSET is it's not a lobbying firm, but NYSET. Um, but let's see what NYSET does. A lot of money. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm putting in United Teachers. United Teachers, New York State. This is NYSET. You report. So remember how the league spent. Seven thousand dollars. NYSET spent uh, four hundred twenty-two thousand dollars during the same time period. Now that is distinct from compensation. So the compensation means that this is how much the individual lobbyist was paid. In, in NYSET's case, NYSET happens to have both what are called in-house lobbyists and also hires. I believe NYSET hires uh, outside lobbyists as well. So. Uh, the compensation for an in-house <coughs> lobbyist is determined by the salary multiplied by the percentage of time spent lobbying. So that's the compensation plus this. So NYSE had spent over half a million dollars between March and April of this year on lobbying. Um, let's see about a private company. Let's see, does anybody want to give me a private company that you think might be lobbying? Lehman Brothers. <laughs> Help me with the spelling. L E H M A N. M A N. Lehman Brothers. Ah, Lehman Brothers has an out. Lehman Brothers, you see, has two things here. We have reports from the Lehman Brothers in house lobbyist and the report from Patricia Lynch Associates, who is one of the more prominent and successful. Uh, lobbying firms. So let's look at the let's look at the report for Lehman Brothers contract with Patricia Lynch's and Associates. So it's a small contract. They spent a little bit over two thousand dollars. Well, they, they this is this goes back to two thousand seven. So they apparently did not use Patricia Lynch in two thousand eight at all. But let's look what they did with for their in-house lobbying. Spending very little money lobbying the state. See, I didn't know the outcome there. Um, but um, they have to file anyways. Yes? Does that list the bills they're trying to lobby? Yes. So they don't, those bills don't disappear then at the end of the session? Well, the, the report doesn't disappear. So the numbers, if I looked up the 2007 number, the 2008 number, that number is irrelevant next year. So if you wanted to see what those bills were, you'd have to do, you'd have to do a, a, a little bit of historical digging. So this is a historical record. The bill, if the bill passed into law, it doesn't exist and it won't be reintroduced either. I'm just surprised you don't archive the information, so that if someone wants to look up the past, you know, it's supposed to be a sunlight project. Yeah. Um, Delete all the information. That's well, we don't. We we we're trying to keep it up to date. But you know, that's an excellent suggestion. And part of the reason I'm doing this is to get suggestions. So you're suggesting that we archive old bill numbers. Mm -hmm. That's a good suggestion. Or at least link the old bill number to the law. Mm -hmm. If it passes into yeah. law, if you archive, you get to sometimes you get to see a pattern that emerges from. Sure. Well, that's, a, that's an excellent suggestion. And why am I doing this? Is, is in part to show you what we have, but in part to make this a better site. Um, let, me show you one, let me show you one other thing. Um, I, I'm actually going to show you two other things, and then I'm going to just open the floor to questions. If, um, let's look at uh, Mr. Abate again. We could look up his member items. We could look up his official website. Let's look at his campaign contributions. Now these are also, these are historic records as well. 
So we go back a few, a few uh, reporting cycles, and this, this isn't going away. The, you could sort it by recipient, by contributor, by amount, by transition code. The default method, the, the, the default listing is by amount. So this tells you everybody that's contributed to Abate. Yeah. Now, you could also, the transition code, you could also see everything that Abate has spelled, spent money on. So what you're able to do during the legislative session is you're able to look up who's lobby, what a bill does, who's lobbied on the bill, whether or not either the lobbyist or the lobbyist's client has contributed to the legislator. You could also look up, although the, although the legislation probably isn't connected to the member items, you could look up the same thing for member items. You could look up, for instance, to see if an executive director of an agency receiving a member item has also made a contribution to a legislator. And the, you know, one of the debates that I'm not going to settle is why do people give money at all? Usually there's two reasons. Does anybody want to take a, take a guess? Expect well, something in return. So to influence the outcome, to influence behavior. So that's one of the two common theories about why people give money. What's the other common theory? To reward so-called good behavior, and um, you know you could test that. You could see, you could pull up, you could look to see what, let's say you know the bigger, better bottle bill. You could identify when you look to see who's lobbying on it. Although it doesn't tell you the positions that they took, but it does tell you who's lobbied on it, and you could, you could pretty much figure out that the environmental groups favor it, and the the bottling companies. Uh, did not favor it. And then, you know, what I find it fascinating is the, the theory that says that the donors are giving to influence the outcome would expect that the big money bottlers would be making campaign contributions to Sweeney, who introduced the bill. But they don't. So they're not expecting, they appear not to be expecting to influence the outcome. But that's not necessarily a pattern that you're going to find every time you look it up. So this is not about conclusions. This information is simply information for you to base your own conclusions on. I'm going to show you one other search function, and then, um, and then I'll take your questions. If you just want to search all the databases for something, uh, you could go to our main search and just plug in a term. And um, you know, when Blair Horner would do this, he would plug in the term Smith. Anytime the word Smith appears in any database, it's going to come up here. And it's going to come up in a certain order. You see these, these, uh, these headers here. The first thing that pops up is the first subfolder of the first header. The financial filers under New York State campaign finance. So the filers are, these are all campaign accounts that have the word Smith in the name. So this is Ada Smith, who's a former state senator. She lost re-election. Alan Smith. Amelia Smith Parker, you could, you could open up their campaign filings. Finance database is who's given. Lobbyists are the lobby lists. So these are these are lobby these are clients here with the name the first thing that pops up is client financial these are clients with the name Smith in them these would be lobbyists with the name Smith in them Joanne Smith is a family planning advocate Robert Smith is uh, a lobbyist for the first pioneer farm credit it tells you their compensation how much they're being compensated during this period. State corporations, any state corporations that have the word Smith in them. You could look up not-for-profits. You could look up, here's member items. So these are member items sponsored by Smith. Charities. Charities with the name Smith, state contracts. So these are contracts 
that the state has taken out with private companies to perform some sort of service. So that's an overview. I, I, uh, I wish that um, uh, I could show you the, uh, the, the legislation, but they no longer exist. I'm going to take your suggestion to archive that information and to put it up here. And you know, we're talking about possibly doing this presentation at the statewide conference next May. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to see if I could get that as something that has long since been worked into this into this website by me. So I'm going to try to get it done.